we heard, we, we found out, we were just a little bit shaken because of the other advisors that we had, we unfortunately had to step down. Unfortunately, without an advisor, no group or organization can um, remain. So, uh, Gala, I guess, would be dissolved. Well, one, we are involved in an alliance called um, ACE. It's an alliance of colleges for equality. Um, it's seven schools um, that are involved in all different colleges uh, and universities. Um, then uh, that's one. We're establishing a network because we're um, the youth of San Antonio wants to build a community. As for um, other things we're involved in, Pride, we're um, beneficiaries there, so we volunteer constantly in that. For the College Coming Out Week, um, which Richard stands on. So to lose him um, would be hard on us. Um, that is to create awareness about you know being out and proud. Um, and the things that we do is you know we're heavily involved. We create awareness. Um, we're um, going to have social soon. We do uh, basically speakers and discussions in our group. Um, and then we're also going to be having an event here. I don't know. This is going to be a panel. Um, about the trip that we went on, uh, where we met um, our state senators' staff members and discussed and pushed for five laws. He certainly does give that leadership um, because he himself is involved in lots of things in the community. Um, it, there's, he certainly has mentored me. A lot of my, a lot of our officers, uh, our members. Um, it's hard to sum it all up for him because he just just I never said, understand the budget cuts of education. Education is so important that I, I don't know why that's one of the first things to get cut. Using advisors, using professors, I believe is not the way to go. I believe it's not the way to go.